Well, it's a rainy day in Properton, and that doesn't stop the citizens of our town uh, from being unable to drive. So it looks like we've got a uh, jackknifed uh, car, and the semis kind of spun out, and these vehicles are just trying to figure out how to get around this car accident. And uh, the police are on site, but uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try for it anyways, and. Uh, See if they can find their way through before they finally realize, nope, this isn't going to work. But, um, yeah, just, just another day. Hi everyone, my name is Pilot Build Cities, but you can call me Pilot, and welcome back to Properton. Uh, just admiring how our new airport looks uh, as it gets closer to uh, sunset. And uh, thanks again so much for all the uh, love and support on this video. Um, I had a lot of fun putting it together and uh, creating it for you guys. And um, yeah, truly a stunning area. So um, a lot of it, uh, yeah, kind of came together pretty much how I wanted it to and uh, I'm really happy to see it uh, functioning. And um, today we're gonna be turning our attention just around the corner uh, to this area here. And I do apologize, I did do some pre-work off camera and uh, it, <laughs> there's a lot of terrain to deal with in this area. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get it cleaned up and get some road, work, road networks down and I just had a feeling I wouldn't be able to recreate it again if once I had it going, so. Um, it's just a little bit of bones uh, put in. Um, I also, over in this area, just uh, kind of gave us a little bit more space because we're going to put in a quite uh, hopeful, hopefully substantial expansion in this area. Um, we basically have high demand for everything will come out of this view and uh, <laughs> those are nice. <laughs> nice camera settings but uh, yeah we've got high demand for everything and um, yeah our university here is almost full so it needs an expansion we have a central bank over here as well and I think this college is also almost full um, education wise um, still a little suspicious with high school but uh, we're even running a little tight on elementary as well so I thought it would be really good to try and put in more of an expansion in this area and uh, kind of just again go through and sort of clean up little bits that uh, that I've missed along the way. If you remember I did take out this area, it used to be uh, an industrial park that we kind of had crammed in that didn't really fit with the area so uh, we'll be mostly working in here that I've tried to sort of create some decent spaces for us to work with <laughs> and uh, yeah as you can see there's a lot of hilliness going on and then we have some space in behind uh, the central bank and around the university and um, we'll see if we get time later on we can also try and make some space through here uh, to further expand but uh, yeah we do have some awkward spaces that we need to fill in that either the zoning didn't come through or quite yet or whatever and uh, just a quick uh, update on the channel as well while I have you here um, I am advanced recording and uh, the last Properton episode will likely be recorded before the release of modding and the Beach Properties um, DLC, which were finally announced uh, today as I'm recording. Uh, so I'm very excited for those to come. I do have plans for them to bring them into the city. So I have been saving kind of this area and uh, here for Beach Properties and here for modding. So we do, I do have plans to introduce mods into the build finally. Um, so but likely won't move over there until after um, I get back from my vacation uh, sometime in the middle of April. Uh, so until then, hope you guys enjoy uh, this episode and the following episode. Um, there's also some pre-recorded content that will be releasing while I'm away. And stay tuned for some announcements about that. All right, so let's jump into building. And actually, one thing I would like to do, and I can do this uh, on camera, is I'd like to align uh, this road here. Here. So we're going to come back and just sort of see if we can get right in the middle, like so, perfect. And then we'll come with our curve road tool, come straight out at a 90 right into the road and then just curve it into the bridge here. And then we just need to flip the direction. And that gives us uh, the exit lane here on the side and we'll just take off the traffic lights and we'll remove all the crossings as well and that should help keep traffic flowing. And while we're here as well, maybe we'll just put down the wider sidewalks. And um, actually, instead, I think we'll just do 
some grass and trees make it look nice and a nice little one-way entrance uh, into this area here and then we can probably just bring down the alley road straight uh, into this one here as well so that will give us some directionality and uh, break up the grid but actually what I'd like to do is put in a lot of the low rent housing and I think what we're gonna do is we'll pause and uh, yeah, as you can see I was kind of looking through the assets earlier and uh, just kind of picking out what I'd like to use and I think a lot of the 4x5 assets would are, are nice and the 6x6 not so much but um, also the 5x5s are pretty nice as well. So we'll kind of come through and we'll plop a bunch. There is no difference between uh, the EU and North America uh, types. So this is kind of what we have is what we have here. But um, I think by plopping a lot of them, we can really kind of just take advantage of using the developer tool and uh, you know try and create something at least a little more sensible and nice in here and uh, we'll leave a few gaps here and there as well and I just want to sort of plop a few buildings along um, we'll place maybe a little bit of the lower density ones here and uh, especially in places where we're gonna have some terrain <laughs> challenges and uh, yeah and then basically what we do here is we come back and if we go into our low rent housing and the filled tool if we just fill the zoning rate underneath then the warning goes away and the building will stay in its position and so we don't have to worry about uh, it disappearing on us and grab that one as well but uh, yeah that's kind of the basic start of the plan for here uh, we will probably plop the rest in a bit of a time lapse but um, if we kind of turn our attention towards our university we'll kind of unpause here and we'll get uh, the university park place first and uh, what I'd like to do is just kind of take a look from the back and I might have to we'll see how this kind of goes but I think placing it right in here and it's just a little bit hard to see some of the paths but if we can try and sort of place it in a place that makes sense I think even maybe just right in there and that'll sort of connect uh, nicely into there and then we'll also grab oh well, we can actually place more than one so I wonder if it would be beneficial to place the second one here and then if we take the university library we can actually place it down here on the side near this parking lot and that should connect in there and then we'll place the extension wing and that's the only one we can <laughs> we can only place once but yeah I think that really kind of rounds out our campus a little bit better um, and then if we just kind of come through with our terraforming tools here we can sort of terraform around these and then we'll probably grab some roads as well and we'll just sort of wrap some roads around um, the expansion here and that will give us just a little bit of more options for some zoning here in a little bit we'll take that down there that didn't quite come out of 90. <laughs> Try that again. Bring it at 90 down here, straight out. And then we'll just hook that road, if it would kindly, <laughs> hook into place down there. Just have to, oh, come on. <laughs> Give ourselves a little bit more room. down a little bit but that's okay it doesn't always need to be perfectly flat and then we can just kind of come back and smooth that out a little bit the best we can and along there as well it looks like and then if we can find maybe a good place we'll hook into here instead and then we'll just take that little bit of a nub off and uh, yeah we'll get some parking place down just to help supplement towards the library and we'll just use the large parking lot there and I think that will work out nicely and then yeah we can also uh, come back with some zoning through that area as well but um, not a lot of live play to uh, start with so why don't I dive right into the uh, the time lapse and uh, we'll uh, get some zoning placed we'll get some buildings plopped down uh, looks like we're just gonna be needing some medium density and we'll put some office and commercial through this area 
and the low density demand. We'll save that for a future episode, uh, probably likely after when I can get access to the uh, beach properties.
so we've got this area all uh, zoned and put together. Um, I think uh, the major of the detailing I might save for when modding finally comes out, just to kind of uh, give it a little bit more of a facelift. But um, yeah, it's just a bunch of various different assets that I plopped um, and tried to leave space for uh, terrain bumps and, and that kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, it's a mix. Uh, we've got our low rent housing kind of here in the middle. Um, I did place down some parking and an elementary school and then tried to kind of give at least the front of it uh, some detail here and also a little bit of an extension to the park over here. But uh, yeah, still some challenges with detailing even with having the uh, uh, developer tools available. Um, there's not really much you can do in terms of placing trees, unfortunately for myself. Uh, they're still gonna be uh, fairly young and slightly difficult to place. So I think once we have a bit of a line tool, that'll make things a little bit easier. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's coming together how I want it. Uh, we put some mixed use in here as well. A little bit of office on either side and then just some high density buildings as well kind of facing the water did place a few hotels along here um, it was mentioning that I kind of forgot hotels for our airport build so I think maybe we could almost say that the hotels are located on this side of the river seems how they're not too far away and sometimes the hotels aren't always right on airport property so um, but uh, yeah you know I just wanted to make sure that whatever we did do with the low rent housing that it wasn't just something a little run down like I just personal beliefs don't think that people who live in low rent housing uh, necessarily deserve to live in somewhere that's not uh, looking nice but um, yeah so I think that's kind of the intent with how it is here I mean there's definitely some bumpies here it's difficult terrain that we're kind of trying to build in but that's the reality of this map and city skylines too so um, yeah I think this area is uh, come together pretty nice so in terms of this area, we still have some screaming high demands uh, for uh, medium density housing, uh, commercial office. So I think what we'll probably do up in this area is we'll kind of build ourselves up a bit more of density again, kind of like we did on this side. And we'll kind of try and wrap it a little bit around uh, the university. So I think what we'll do is we'll just grab some larger roads and we'll just try again, get some grids going <laughs> and um, place those kind of around this area. So we'll kind of take what we have for the existing road infrastructure, but we'll try and sort of stretch it out a little bit so it's not so much of just very small, tight grids um, here. And if I could just get this to play nicely with my angle, that would be lovely. There we go. And I'll probably have to use paths. Uh, I'm really hoping there's gonna be a zoning adjuster. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then we'll get um, some roads placed around here, and uh, we'll probably connect a through road, few roads, words, uh, through this collector here as well. And we'll take it all the way down to about here. And I think we've got this smaller road here by the welfare office, and it looks like we've got a little bit of a terrain difference here. So maybe if we take our slope terrain tool, we'll kind of run that up next to the rail there, just sort of try and back this off a little bit and then we'll run this road up alongside the welfare office and into this road over here and get that connected and then maybe we'll run uh, something along the back as well looks like we stumped in a road there and we'll bring this one over here right up to about there and uh, yeah we'll try and sort of leave that a little bit treed in but oh that slope is not looking not looking lovely. <laughs> Let's see if we can maybe slope that out just a tiny bit better. Not much, but uh, at least get it a little bit better. And helps if it would come in at a 90. Thank you. So, and I think for traffic flow, we'll also just throw down a nice size roundabout there and keep traffic running uh, through there as well. But yeah, I think. Um, we also might just need to take a look at some of the services for this area. So we do have fire and uh, looks like police is covered as well, even though we have a crime scene there apparently in where crime probability is down, but the success rate is high. So I don't know how that works, but anyways, <laughs> and medical wise, we do have a clinic nearby. Um, so I think we're all covered there for services, but uh, transit wise, um, I think as well, we do have our tram that runs through to there. Um, we could maybe look at running some buses 
through that area as well. Seems how we kind of don't really have anything that runs through that area, but uh, we can kind of look at that in a detailing time lapse. But I think over here again, we'll just do some nice careful zoning. So we'll start with some medium density and uh, we'll try and give ourselves some nice big assets here if we can. Um, and we might have to pay a little bit of whack up until we get what we want there, but that's a nice corner asset with entrances right on the front there. And then we'll give it a little bit of breathing room and we'll place another one. And we'll just try and sort of work them in the best we can. I think there's a few of them here where we'll just have to take a bit of a smaller unit. So take that zoning off there and place another one there. And then maybe in behind again, we'll get a few pockets of some taller offices here. And again, see what we can sort of whack them all until we get <laughs> a single one there. And um, yeah, you know, hopefully again with modding, I'll have the Boppable Rico I think is available now and all that kind of stuff. So I just <laughs> didn't want to put it on the new PC right off, right off the bat. So um, yeah, at least with having official Paradox mod support, that'll definitely be a lot better. And that looks like that zoning is not connected to that road. So we'll just take that off there. And we'll place another large one there. I know those look like those are going to be tall. <laughs> um, and then maybe over here as well, a little bit more. Again, trying to get some bigger buildings placed in here. And we got this little square. I think that's kind of calling out for some sort of park. Uh, maybe a nice dog park. We'll place down a small plaza. We'll put the small playground along the side. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to put some custom parks in eventually. I think over here we'll just get... Oh, that's already got parking. Perfect. Uh, so maybe we'll just place a nice large parking lot here along the back as well. Put some path around it. But I'm definitely excited for where the game is headed now. I think we're finally getting close to a better place. You know, I'm, I'm not holding my breath yet. Uh, <laughs> um, that everything's going to be solved. I'm hoping modding comes together uh, quite successfully and hopefully with all the delays that they've really taken the time to make sure that it it works fairly well on release. I imagine there'll be some bugs. I think it's just probably inevitable that uh, something will have been uh, missed when it does come, but uh, you know, I, I have faith <laughs> still, um, even after all this time. So uh, maybe we'll get some nice birch trees in behind here that'll be fully growing someday. Just turn up the speed there a little bit and get these buildings coming in, see how that looks. But yeah, why don't you guys let me know what, uh, in the comments below what mods you're looking forward to, what ones you want to see me use. Um, I think I've already got in the back of my mind plop line to plop line tool, <laughs> prop line tool for sure, um, or at least some sort of line tool, I guess. Uh, I'll probably use the forest brush, maybe some of the tree mods as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't think it needs a heavy lot amount of mods. I think just some of the quality of life stuff that we've been missing is definitely is definitely needed. But um, I think we've got some high density demand again, so we'll maybe just try and sneak in a nice big high density building back here as well. And maybe not be shy with the parking in there. But um, yeah, you know, I, I think. It would have been amazing to have it at launch, and they probably should have, or been at least a little bit better communicating with the um, the delays. Um, I especially, my heart goes out to console players who are still still waiting to hear if they are going to get the game at all this year or not. Um, um, I th I think it's coming. You know, I think with the fixes for PC almost hopefully being done, maybe that's a good sign. Um, I mean, they haven't announced a delay yet, uh, so whether or not that means it is being delayed again or not i guess that remains to be seen i guess we'll find out once <laughs> well later on once this episode is probably already out but um yeah just getting some few trees placed in here as well that it will fit maybe a couple birch trees through here as well so just trying to make the best of it and have a little park space in there but um yeah i don't see this demand going anywhere anytime soon but uh what i'll do is i'll probably again uh time lapse again finish off some building and see what we can get uh in here
right, everyone. I think that's uh, probably going to do it for uh, today's episode. And uh, really pleased with how this uh, has come together. Um, I had my doubts uh, initially, but then once I was filming the cinema- cinematics, I was like, no, it, it, it came together. Um, I think this is kind of my vision. Um, again, it needs some detailing for sure. I just I struggle with the lack of assets and uh, mods right now. But, uh, you know, we're almost there. And uh, so I can I can wait a little bit and we'll probably come back at some point and uh, you know definitely do some detailing and and uh, hopefully clean it up even more but um, I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I'm, I'm really loving this elementary school here uh, a bit of traffic here just ignore that well it's probably some influx that'll clean up soon I've probably got to fix some of the traffic stuff but um, yeah also just have some row housing coming in here as well um, and then yeah just try to really sort of grow this area just a little bit more. Um, I did build a bit of a weird one-way system in here somewhere and I may need to uh, clean that up but uh, yeah we got some medium and high density commercial and office coming in over here as well and then I just did build another elementary school in the back here and then tried to sort of leave this still really forested but um, yeah loving the, the sunset shots on this map by the way so that's why we're in a this time of day view but um, That'll probably do it for me today. So thanks again for joining me. And uh, yeah, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, You'll probably be seeing it. um, I should be around. Yes, Uh, we're going to premiere it. And uh, I've got a special announcement following that premiere now that I think about it. So uh, definitely tune in for the next episode. And uh, yeah, can't wait to share uh, more with you guys. So take care. Bye bye.